Hi, Mike. Hi, I know Mike. you're excited, too. You've been waiting. Uh, how do you think these Olympics will feel different for the athletes and for the spectators? Uh, good morning, ladies. I, I think it's going to feel different because there's been so much anticipation. Uh, we've done one year out twice, but this is the first <laughs> time we've done 100 days out. So yeah. I think it feels more. Savannah, I, I've got to be honest. I was shaving this morning and I heard you at the top of the seven o'clock say it's 100 days to the Olympics. And it just felt a little bit different. I'm sure the athletes are in that cadence now where they feel like, OK, I've got my ticket. I'm ready to go. It is time to actually compete and stop preparing for these games. Well, let's talk about how things are going to look different. Um, there aren't going to be fans, at least at this point, no family of Olympic athletes, just fans from Japan. How are they working it with all the, uh, the COVID restrictions that you know? Yeah, like everything else, Hoda, it's all different, right? This is the new normal. We're trying to learn it and figure it out along the way. I've been at multiple sporting events, just the Masters, this past week. It wasn't the same number of fans there as you normally have, but there were some. And I think we'll feel some of that at the Olympics. And for the people who are at home, the parents and the family and the loved ones at Team USA, those are the ones I feel for the most because the Olympics is a one-shot deal, maybe two for some. And for them not to be able to be there and share in those moments with the people they love and they help get to this point, that's probably the biggest void I think we're going to feel once we get to the games. Well, let's talk sports. Uh, and I know at the top of your list, Simone Biles and Katie Ledecky, two female powerhouses who are Olympians already. What do you expect? Yeah, I'm looking forward to Hoda sit down with Simone in the uh, 8.30 half hour. There's been so much that's gone on in her career away from gymnastics. But in terms of competing, uh, she and Katie Ledecky both have the chance to win more gold medals than any U.S. woman ever has. Four already in the books for Simone. Her routines have set, I'm going to use the pun, a new bar in the <laughs> sport. She is the goat of gymnastics. She's the best ever at women's gymnastics. A chance to fortify that mark coming up here in Tokyo. And then you go to the pool and Katie Ledecky and you just saw it in the piece a moment ago. Katie's back in the pool and swimming some of her best times in the last couple of years. She has a gold from London, four from Rio. So she has five. So she and Simone both, they could be in a little bit of a race to see who gets to that mark first for the most gold medals ever won <laughs> by an American woman. Well, I'm looking forward to a lot of things going to the Olympics. I'm looking forward to you and Savannah doing opening ceremony. I was just Yay! kind of picturing what that would be like to watch all of those, the parade of nations. It's going to be a beautiful way to kick it off. So we're looking forward to you, Mike, and SG doing that and just hanging out. Can't wait, Mike. It's going to be the first time the world really gets together mm -hmm. since the pandemic happened. I mm -hmm. think it's going to feel really momentous. Mm -hmm. We've talked about that. It's going to be special to get everyone together to celebrate something in sports and in the world since we've all been through these rough, mm -hmm. rough 15 months or so. All right, Mike, thank you so much. We're going to have a lot more on the countdown to Tokyo just ahead, including our chat with Simone Biles. And, of course, you can catch all the excitement from the Olympic Games this summer across the networks and platforms of NBC. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.